Ian Halicki with the WKBN 27 First News Forecast. And we have a lot to talk about tonight. A storm system that we have been tracking here for days. The latest information tonight, we have some changes here as we go through the day Saturday in comparison to what we were looking at just a few days ago. The latest advisories, we have winter weather advisories posted for our entire viewing area just to the south, even bordering Columbiana County. That's where the winter storm warnings start. And this is because the storm has shifted that we're looking at advisories as opposed to the warnings here. The storm is going to take a little bit more of a southerly track. That's going to keep our accumulations a little bit lower than uh, what we were looking at just two Two days ago here uh, when the models had painted a much heavier situation for accumulation. Snow is starting to approach the area. It's going to develop into the overnight and this is how it looks on a wider scope. This is the band of snow that we will be tracking here through the evening. As we go through the night, the colder air will start to settle in and as it does so, this snow will continue to march off to the south, moving in our direction, bringing us accumulating snow overnight and then more on the way for tomorrow. So one thing I do want to point out here is when this snow starts, look at our temperatures right now. We are still mild in spots. We're going to have to watch how quickly these fall. Small chance for a little bit of a wintry mix at the onset of this when it begins, but temperatures will cool off and will transition over to all snow for the overnight and through the day Sunday. So tracking this here on future radar, we start at 8 p.m. You see we're just mainly cloudy now. Pausing here at 1 a.m., that's when snow will start to approach, start to develop across the area. It's going to start from the north, sink to the south. You see the darker blue. We stop at 4 a.m., and we could have some heavier bursts at times, so snow may get a little heavy here or there occasionally overnight. Now, it continues for us through the day Sunday, and again, off and on, snow may be heavy at times here, but it does look like southern parts of the area will have the better chance at seeing heavier snow. With the shift in the track of this, the heaviest snow, the uh, higher accumulations that we originally were looking at will actually be to our south. I'll show you that here in just a second. But as we uh, stop at 11 a.m., you see a little bit of a break, but we'll still be watching for little pulses of energy to ride through with this, bringing us more snow right through the day. It doesn't start to taper off until the evening. We stop at 7, you see the lighter blue shading. And as we continue into our overnight by 11 o'clock tomorrow, snow tapering off. Now we'll still have lingering light snow or flurries at times, especially for southern Columbiana County. As I said, the storm system, southerly track, Columbiana County is closer to the path that that will take. But through the day Monday, we'll see uh, skies becoming partly sunny. This will be over for us Sunday night into Monday, as opposed to beginning Sunday night into Monday, as it looked just yesterday in those models. So this is accumulation of snow that our model here spits out for us. And as we set it into motion, you see Notice the darker blue shadings are off to the south here. That's indicating here three to as much as six inches here. Heaviest accumulation will be to the south here for us. And storm total with this looks to be in the range of about two to four for the northern parts of the area. Two to five possible for our midsection with three to six, the highest amounts again, especially for the south, southern Columbiana County. Now, I want to show you what we were talking about here. The storm has shifted. It's a matter of about 90 miles as you look where the heaviest accumulations are. There's a band here that is set up that is in the 8 to 10 inch range. That's south now of Morgantown. I measured this out using our uh, future, our, our radar product here, and that's about a 90 mile shift. We're going to watch to make sure this doesn't move north, but that's the good news for us. With this shifting south, that lowers the accumulations we'll be looking at. So you'll see that wintry mix possible early tonight, then snow developing trace to two inches through the overnight with a low of 24. Tomorrow, snow likely heavy at times, high of 25. County by county breakdown, one to three inches for Trumbull County. Same for Mercer County through the day tomorrow. Mahoning and Lawrence, two to four inches with two to five for Columbiana. This is through the day Sunday. And then snow starts to wind down Sunday night. An inch or less additional and we'll see a low of nine as we look at the rest of your seven day forecast. Only some lingering flurries left over Monday, 17. Cold start to the day Tuesday at three and we'll watch Tuesday evening for a little bit of light snow. That's not looking impressive at all. Just some flurries for us and Thursday morning. Same threat, little light snow next weekend. Temperatures try and warm by Friday. We're looking at a chance for a little bit of a wintry mix in here. So you can count on WKBN 27 first news to keep monitoring this. We'll keep you updated. I'll be back here tomorrow. We'll be tracking that snow will have the latest for you as it develops.